Hey everyone! Today I'm going to give you guys some tips on colorings. Um, some people requested it and I thought it was a good idea to do it because I know when I used to make my first colorings I really wanted help but I couldn't really find anything. Um, although I, I have seen that a lot of people already did um, tips on coloring videos. So yeah, I will link some below if I find some good ones or if I find any ones or if I don't feel lazy. Um, so first I'm going to import a clip. So I imported a clip right now of April Young um, at the funeral for dad. It's season 4 episode 2. Um, so the thing with colorings is uh, it doesn't always turn out great, at, at least not with me, but um, you kind of just have to play around and uh, most of the time you'll get something that you like and when I don't, I just delete the file. So we're going to start making one and if it turns out good, I will, I will post the link down below to this coloring and you can download it if you want. First of all, something that's really important with the coloring is, of course, color curves. I couldn't live without it. Don't you dare make a coloring without color curves. It's, at least in my opinion, it's, it's totally, I'm totally screwed when I don't do it. Which is why I always do it. So we're going to add our first co uh, color curves. Um, and you also kind of have to play around with this, so just move it, um, move all the colors, and once you find something that you like, uh, just work from that. So I will make something random right now, and I will show you how it turns out. So this is what I have so far. I know it looks really awful and crappy, but I'm going to add my next color curves and I'm just going to play around with it again. So this is where I am, where I am right now. Um, so I know it still doesn't look that good, but we're going to change it a little bit now. Um, we're going to add some, uh, we're going to make the clip a little bit lighter. Um, because, you know, on the Vampire Diaries, it has a lot of dark scenes. So you want, um, you don't want your coloring to be too dark because then it won't look good on your scenes. If that made any sense. Okay. We'll just leave it like this. Now, what I also use is color corrector secondary. Um, and I just change the saturation. Um, I don't like my coloring to be too bright. Okay, so see the difference now? Uh, what I also always use is levels. Um, it's just something that I have to use all the time. So this is the clip with the levels and this is the clip without the levels. So what I also do a lot is um, use color corrector. So I will come back when that's changed. So this is with, without and this with color corrector. Now you can also use a uh, like color balance, but I don't really use that that often. I don't really think it's good for anything. Um, and yeah, you can use a bunch of other stuff like gradient map. I don't use that that often either, but you can use it if you want. If you want to give your coloring a little twist, you can use saturation adjust and. I really love this. I mean, it, I think it gives the coloring a nice twist. So I'm gonna just play around with this and I'll come back when I have something that I like. So this is the finished result with the saturation adjust. I think it looks good. So now you can see the difference. So I will leave this unfinked. I'm gonna put um, a link down below to this coloring. So if you want, it with the saturation adjust you can just think it also what's really important to make the quality of your clip better is convolution kernel I always use 
this one and then I also use some sharpener not too much though because it can mess up your video or um, so if you're a Delena fan like me you want your colorings to look good on Delena scenes so I always check those here's a Delena scene um, so yeah I hope that this tutorial helped you and um, yeah if you have any requests for tutorials just leave a comment or PM me okay bye bye you know Jack O'Connell is really hot don't you think I mean the past time I've been watching him and god he is some hot piece of cake hashtag forever alone